Hi, Dalor from Select Driving School here. Today I've just got a short video I've pulled up from the archives. It's based on a lesson I gave to a lady who'd been driving for a few years and had never really understood how to tackle the King Cross lights. As I say, it's a few years old. There have been a few changes to the layout of the junction since, but nothing that really significantly changes the essence of what's in the video. I hope you get some useful tips from it. And please enjoy watching. If you do, please click like or please subscribe to me or ask me any questions or requests for new videos at www.selectdrivingschoolhalifax.co.uk. Thank you. Okay, coming down to the King Cross traffic light from Queen's Road. As we can see, they're just coming up ahead of us. We're going to go right on this occasion. Um, if we look at the sign ahead of us, we can see that from this direction we can go to Manchester, Burnley, Huddersfield, mm -hmm. or if we go left, we can go to Leeds, Bradford, and the town centre. Yeah. We're going to go right, and this time as we go right, mm -hmm. we want to get ourselves over to the right hand side because we're going to go towards King Cross and back into King Cross. Okay? So setting off now, <coughs> so we're going right, and on this occasion we're going to go into the right hand lane. That's it, so you can see there's a white line on your right hand side, stay close to the white line. A bit closer to that white line, that's it. Okay, and then ahead of us we can see the next set of lights. It splits into two here, okay. and then this splits into two, and we want this lane, the right hand lane, behind the little... Um, well, I'm not sure what colour that is, mm -hmm. sort of red. Anyway, this is the correct lane. Okay. Now here, ahead of us, we can now either go straight ahead. From this lane, if we went straight ahead, we'd go to Worley. Yeah. Or we can turn right, which is going to take us up towards the one stop. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to do that. We're going to turn right. And what you want to do as you go past the lights is to just move over it just set towards the right slightly so that people can go behind you but not all the way over because you have got cars turning in front of you. So signal right, just move to the right slightly, that's it, Move. keep moving a little bit further and stop about there, okay? And now you're waiting, you're going to turn around that arrow when the traffic clears. These cars are coming in front of you now, they're going to turn away from you, so when there's a gap that you're happy to take you can go. At the moment there isn't a gap so that's fine. You probably have to wait for the lights to change because they're all coming through quite quickly now. Okay. That's it, good. And then we're turning into King Cross. So back at the same junction from Queen's Road, this time yeah. we're going to go left. Left will take us towards the town centre or towards Tesco's. Now, on test route, sometimes they go towards Tesco here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn left and then immediately after the traffic lights, turn right. Going around the bollards, down towards the little mini roundabout at Tesco's. Okay? Okay, so again, coming down to the traffic lights, see the traffic lights going left, that's it, and as we come here allowing yourself to go to the right hand lane, good, straight into that lane, well done, yep, straight ahead, yeah, so we've got to get up to the traffic yeah. lights, we go around the traffic lights, and that's going to take us into Hofshore Road, and it's going to take us down to the mini roundabout outside Tesco's, where we're going to go left. Okay, this time we're approaching from town direction. Good, we stopped before we put the handbrake on there, well done. So now we've got Tesco's over to our left, and ahead of us we've got um, the traffic lights that go either towards Queen's Road, 
carry on, but on this occasion, so if we were going towards Queen's Road, we would go where the bus is, but we're going to go straight ahead, so behind the black car, and this time we're going to go towards, um, towards Savile Park. So, staying close to the wall, just a little bit close to the wall, so we're staying left. That's it, good. So staying close to the wall and the railings, and we're going to go left just before the traffic lights. That's it. Okay. So in the queue, so here now we can see the four lanes. The one in front was number one. The one next to us that's currently empty. The third one where the van is, and the fourth one that's empty. These two both go ahead towards Selby Bridge or left as we're doing towards Savile Park. Watching the traffic lights from Wally Road, we're going left. And as we go left, the road splits into three lanes. I want you to go in the middle lane. So look ahead at the traffic lights and you'll see that there are three lanes. So go into the middle one, so behind the other learner car. Straight to the middle lane, please. Now this, this is not the middle lane, this is the left lane. Stay here now, okay? So this is the left lane. Where the learner car is the middle lane, where the white van is there, yeah. that's the right lane, okay? Yeah. So now, go to the, the line. From here, stop here, it doesn't matter, we'll, we'll work it out. Yeah. From this lane, we can only go straight ahead. From that lane, we can only go straight ahead. This is where you've tried to turn right. Mm -hmm. You cannot turn right on this side of the traffic lights. So we're going to go straight ahead. Now, because we're in this left-hand lane, we're going to either be able to, right, if it's safe, we can move back to the right-hand lane now, okay? But if we're not able to move, then if you look at that sign there, you can only go left King's Cross if you stay in that left hand lane. If you go into the town centre, you use the middle lane and then you're now in the lane that goes towards the town centre. Now by getting yourself into the left hand lane before the lights, it meant you've had to make a lane change here. Because you only had two cars behind you, you've been able to do it quite safely. But if you had a long queue on your right hand side, you may have found it a lot harder to get back into this lane mm -hmm. and you may have been forced to turn up Queen's Road. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Left, these traffic lights from Wally Road, this time into your right hand lane, so straight to the right hand lane, over to the right hand lane. That's it, okay? Now we're in the right hand lane of three. So just to refresh it again, this is the only lane from here where you can turn right, okay? Both of the lanes next to you, the one where the black car just pulled up, yeah. goes straight ahead, mm -hmm. and the one next to it goes straight ahead. The black car lane goes towards the town centre. The one next to the black car, the left-hand lane, goes towards King Cross. Although, as we did earlier, if it's safe, and you've got in that lane, you can move over to the right to be able to go to the town centre, yeah. but it's better to be in the middle lane to start with. Yeah. But here we're going to turn right and that's going to take us up towards the fire station and um, Savile Park. So when you're ready. So through these traffic lights. Turning right, following the Jaguar. That's it. And then that takes us straight up here and going towards um, towards Savile Park. The lights again, this time from Savile Park. This time we're going to go through the traffic lights in the left hand lane, that's correct. And from this position here, we're going to now turn left and that's going to take us over towards where the, the red van is over there where again there are two lanes, okay? The lane closest to us, where that big lorry is going, that goes towards Burnley. The far lane, where the um, silver car just went, so closest to where they're moving from, 
takes us up to Walney Road. We're going to go left but into the right hand lane of those two so that we can go up Walney Road. Okay, so we're setting off, we're going left and that's good into the correct, into the right hand lane where you can see the big arrow on the road pointing to the right and then this brings us to the next set of lights where we're going to turn right we can turn it right turn it right, that's it and going again through the bollards and up Wally Road. <laughs>